Okay, so I'm going to lift my foot pegs. I'm going to raise them um, just by one hole on here, which should mean that my ankle bone locks under here a little bit better so that I can grip the wheel when getting air off jumps or trying to jump up curbs and things. So this is the process to raise the foot plates. Unicycle, there's two screws that side, and there's only one screw this side. There may be more depending on where your adjustment is on your wheel. And if you look this side, when it clamps, it clamps onto this bar here, and it has quite a nice action to clamp down on there but then when you look at this side when it clamps down there's actually a gap in there so when you tighten it up it puts a little bit of tension on this aluminium plate here so when I reassemble it I'm just going to put a little spacer in here so that it just distributes the clamping force evenly <coughs> So four screws to undo to actually loosen the assembly away from the slide and they are pretty tight. These are a little bit more awkward. It sounds like the head of the Allen key is spinning in the bolt, but it actually isn't. It's just so tight that it actually cracks when you undo it. Third one and then the fourth one. So with all four loosened and these side screws taken out it should move quite freely on the slide as so and I'm moving it up so that I can see down through both of those holes and that is the highest position that you can set the foot plates I'm also using some stainless steel Allen bolts to replace the bolts that were in there because I noticed there was a little bit of rust on the top of the heads of one of those so I thought while well, I've got them out I'll just replace them with some stainless steel ones that I had already. And there's no load on these screws so they don't need to be super tight they just need to be nipped up. And then this side 
this is where I'm gonna put a little spacer. And this nut I've got is the perfect fit for that. And then one thing you need to be careful of before you tighten these four bolts is inside there there's a little spacer block and you can see it's dropped down so before you tighten those up you need to make sure you lift that block up as so Okay, so now I'm gonna tighten up the four screws. The spacer, as you can see, is in place. So that does have a habit of dropping down when you're doing it up, so just keep an eye on that spacer. spacer in the original hole that was used and now we're going to use the second hole because we've moved it up so I'm going to put another spacer in there and a new stainless steel cap head screw So on our second S18, I've also made the same modification and interestingly both our S18s were in the same batch but Leo's has an extra threaded hole there and a bolt which mine didn't have and the same on the other side, an extra hole there threaded into the bottom plate. So again, I've put spacers in there and stainless steel bolts, just so that it clamps nice and evenly there. And Leo doesn't actually want his foot plates changed, so I don't need to hire them or lower them. But interestingly, if you look under here, there isn't a spacer 
on this particular version of the S18. So even though they came in the same batch, and it was the first batch that was airmailed over by Speedy Feet, there is some differences in the manufacturing. And I think this is a slightly more recent one off the production line because this wheel already had the latest firmware on, whereas my wheel needed a firmware update. So quite interesting to see that in these early stages of production there are differences in the wheels even though they were in the same batch. Just need to see how it rides now. The camera is still going!